Hey, I want to show you how easy it is to get started with Seed Code Subscribe. And what I've got here is a FileMaker database. This happens to be our free calendar uh, hosted on our FileMaker server. And while it looks like a calendar here, um, it's really just um, a simple table of dates and events. And what I want to do is get all this data to show up in iCal and then in Google Calendar and on the I calendars on my iPhone and iPad. So to do that, I've downloaded uh, Seed Code Subscribe, which is, uh, here's the download right here. And I'm gonna open up the Seed Code Subscribe setup file and show you how you can get this done without installing anything on your FileMaker server. You can use our demo server to kind of preview all this, and then you can buy a copy of Seed Code Subscribe, install it on your own server, and distribute your URLs so that folks can subscribe to your FileMaker data uh, in iCal. So first thing we wanna do here is make a new calendar. So let's call this uh, uh, events in FileMaker and hit save. You can see there are, you know, some calendars are already here that you can play with. Um, and now it wants to know kind of what's the address of your FileMaker server. And I happen to have this on the same uh, server as our sample data. So I'm gonna put this over here. And then I've created a username and password that has FileMaker um, that is tied to a privilege set that allows XML web publishing. That's how all this works. Now. I often don't have passwords in some of these sample files, but iCal and a lot of these calendars, they want both a username and a password. And so after I put that in there, it's kind of validating everything. That's what this transfer HTTP is going on. Um, so you, you want to do make sure that you have both a username and a password because iCal doesn't like blank passwords. And then it says, hey, select from the list of open files and seed code calendar free is both an open file and a file on this server with this username and password allowing XML web publishing. So you can see what these checks are. It's kind of checking your work as it goes. Um, so the Seed Code Subscribe engine is currently installed on the demo server. That's great. I'm going to use it there. Eventually, I'll turn this off and paste in my own path to where I've installed it. But for now, I'm just going to use the demo server. And then um, it wants to know what layout to use. And I'm going to use the layout we're looking at here, calendar source data because it's got the fields on it that I want to use in my calendar and we see our little success message. So we're actually almost done. So now we just have to map the fields that you want to see in your calendar to um, what's going on in FileMaker. So for the title field, I'm going to click on this little arrow and pick the summary calc, which kind of concatenates all the stuff I want to see in the summary. And then for the timestamp start, I didn't have a timestamp and an, an end timestamp field. And so I had to add these and they're just simple, like, take the date and time and turn it into a timestamp. So I'm gonna pick those here and you see it'll tell you just the fields that are actually timestamps. So if you don't see anything here, it's because that layout doesn't have any timestamp fields on it. So there's our start and here's our end. You can see it's checking our work as we go. And that and I'm not gonna go any further. I'm not gonna do, well, maybe for the description, I'll grab a notes field. I don't think I even, yeah, I don't even have a notes field here. So that's it. You can obviously put URLs and some other stuff. I'm going to pick a time zone. So let's pick USA. Whoop. Just click here, US Pacific and a color. We'll just call it blue. All right. So that all checks out. Um, if I was going to filter the calendar, so like have my calendar or my urgent events or Tim's events or Tim's urgent events, I would add some filter criteria here, but uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go right over to results and test the setup. So it's going to connect to our file and see if it can bring down an iCal file. And it can. And you see here 157 events. And I have 157 uh, events up here. Now, if you have 157,000 events, this may take a few minutes. And you'll probably want to go back to that filter and create some filters to only see you know, stuff that matters. At this point, though, I can click subscribe and it brings this URL here. And I say, yeah. It's going to talk to it. So demo.icalfm.com, that's our demo server. It picked up my event name and my color and all this other stuff. I do want to set it to refresh every 15 minutes, right? It's a subscription, so when things change in FileMaker, I want them to change in iCal. That's what this refresh will do. And normally I wouldn't turn off alarms during that stuff, but for now I'll just bring it in. And it comes in pretty quickly, and then boom, all your events come in, which is uh, pretty awesome. So let's go to the previous month and then see what that looks like in calendar month. And bang. There they are. Now you can see that these events have demo um, in front of them because we're using our demo server. We're watermarking uh, the events so that you don't use our demo server forever. So now that I've got this URL working, I can come back here, purchase and install Seed Code Subscribe on my server, put the path to it right here, and then come over to sharing and share these URLs with my friends, email them, and um, 
they'll be able to add this to iCal or to their calendars in their iPhone and iPad. So pretty, um, pretty cool. Um, I think that's all I want to show you. So thanks. I hope you'll check it out. Oh, so I, I do want to show you that these, these are kind of read only. So here, let's look at this visit, uh, BGP. So there's no edit button, right? It's a subscription. So users can't edit these events in iCal, but changes made in iCal or sorry, in FileMaker will be reflected. So let's find that event over here, visit and chalkboarding. <laughs> what did I mean by that? Sometimes my sample data really confuses me. But anyways, there it is. So I add what, we click close and refresh here. And then when iCal refreshes on its own, it'll bring that change in, or I can just kind of here click refresh manually. You get this little spin, and now we'll see the new name, what, which is cool. So your subscribed calendars are all down here. You can see the only other calendar I subscribe to is the Tides and Currents at Deception Pass, which is you know kind of cool. You see them this week as the flood cascades, but that's not what you care about. You care about seeing your events in FileMaker, and we think that Seed Code Subscribe is the easiest way to do that. Those URLs work in iCal, as you see here, Google Calendar, Office 365, and the calendars on iPhone and iPad. Have at it. Thanks.